I knew I, no matter what, I was not going to do the same method. The first time around, I put in probably 15 hours a day. I was sleeping very little. I was running on energy drinks. I cannot even tell you how many Red Bulls I used to drink in a day. And I was just burnt out. And the second time around, I promised myself that I was going to actually take care of myself mm -hmm. and be able to get to the finish line this time. And I really just flipped my approach and I worked smarter. Yeah. So what are some ways um, that you worked smarter? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mind Over Legal Matter, where we approach Florida Bar Essays one mindful step at a time. Today is such a special day for the MOLM YouTube channel because I have a special guest, Miss Amy, who just took the February 2023 Florida Bar exam. And she is here to share her experience with you because she wants to pay it forward to all of you out there who dream about becoming an attorney. So let's get started right away. Um, Amy, please introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Amy. I'm 25 years old, and I've always wanted to become a lawyer. Criminal defense has been something I've wanted to do since I was a small child, and I'm happy to say that I passed the February 2023 Florida Bar exam. Yay! So talk to us about, because um, you had previously taken the Florida Bar exam. When when was that? That was in July. July of, of 2022. Okay. And how did you study for it the first time? So the first time I took a very traditional approach to the bar exam, I bought a big box company and the day after graduation, I got down to work and I truly believed if I followed their mantra and their process that it would lead me to success. But unfortunately it didn't because the bar exam is not a one size fits all process. Yeah. So, so then when you did that, like, how did you study? Like, did you do a hundred percent of the program? Did you do everything on the checklist? You did everything you were supposed to do. Tell me more about that. I did. I completed 100% of the program and I followed it every single day. I put in the hours and it just all in all did not work out for me. I felt like I was rushing through the program because I wanted so badly to complete all of it. And I had to come to terms with the fact that while I was completing the program, I wasn't doing it mindfully and taking everything in. Yeah. So how did um, that turn out uh, the July, 2022? Uh, well, I failed. Uh, by a good chunk as well. I really felt like I was destined to pass it because on my practice exams, I was doing well with them and it was pointing towards a pass, but ultimately I didn't, so. So it was a, a surprise, is that a fair thing? Like when you got yes. the results? Okay. Yes. So then that must have been really crushing um, if it was a surprise and it was like, so how did you feel? At that point, I felt like it was the worst day of my life and that I would never pass the bar exam because those programs are supposed to work. But I mean, the truth is they don't work for everyone. And yeah, it was a really gut-wrenching feeling. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, so how did you, like, can you tell us about that experience? Like, how did you pick yourself back up? Like, what was that like that month, you know, after the getting the results? Yeah, I spent a little bit of time crying and I spoke to my parents and they told me like, you don't have time to be sad. You just got to get back up and try it again. And once you said like, I'm going to do this again, I'm picking myself back up. Um, how did you approach the February 2023 exam? I knew I, no matter what, I was not going to do the same method. The first time around, I put in probably 15 hours a day. I was sleeping very little. I was running on energy drinks. I cannot even tell you how many Red Bulls I used to drink in a day. And I was just burnt out. And the second time around, I promised myself that I was going to actually take care of myself mm -hmm. and be able to get to the finish line this time. And I really just flipped my approach and I worked smarter. Yeah. So what are some ways um, that you worked smarter? I forced myself to take hours at night off and actually get rest and working with you, we had a lot of checkpoints in place. So we never moved forward if I didn't understand something. Whereas last time around, I felt like I was more focused on getting to the end of the program rather than actually understanding each component of the program. Yeah. there And so many students, that's so important what you just said, because so many students uh, want to keep moving forward because they'll feel like, well, I'm going to get behind if I don't keep moving forward, even though I don't really understand you know, these particular things. What would you say to those students? At the end of the day, you don't need to complete 100% of the program. It is better to complete. I have friends who had great success with the same program who completed about 75% of it, but actually understood it and took that in, whereas I completed all of it and failed. Okay. So uh, comprehension is so important, not yes. just like uh, 
making sure that things are checked off the list, but making right. sure that I actually understand the things that I'm checking off the list. Exactly. Completion yeah. means nothing if you don't comprehend it. Yeah. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so what are some new, well, first I want to go back to how you said you forced yourself to, you know, rest. How do you do that? Because that's not easy. Like students feel very guilty. They're like, no, I, I can't. And even if they stop, they, um, they're still thinking about stuff in bed or they're still thinking about stuff when they're brushing their, you know, how do you, how do you, how did you do that? Well, at first it was very hard for me. And, um, we did small exercises at night, such as like flashcards, which were like fun and not as intense as studying. So I still felt like I was doing something and wasn't so guilty about it. But I also just 100% trusted you. You told me that if I was going to get burnt out, that I was not going to have success. And I was like, okay, she knows what she's talking about. I have to listen. And I'd seen firsthand first time how it did not work for me in July. So I just knew that I had to, no matter what, just trust you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Burnout is is so real Um, because when I have seen burnout in students, there is nothing that I, as the coach tutor can do anything to pick them back up. And I just have to wait until they go through it. And that could mean now we're talking weeks of lost study time because the student is just burnt out and they can't do any more. And that's not, that's not good. So you're better off resting, like you said. So um, can, what are some new study habits that you did or study tips uh, in your bar journey for the February, 2023 exam that you feel like, okay, that was much more helpful. So many things. Uh, the first time around, I didn't do flashcards. I implemented those this time around. I recorded myself speaking my outline and I listened to that at night while I was doing laundry or dishes or whatever it was walking my dog. So I was constantly like getting the black letter law down and doing stuff, but I wasn't doing it in a way that it was exhausting to me. I also, this time around, um, really had time to revisit, revisit my outline because the first time around, I felt like I was making the outline, but very few times did I actually go back and look at it because there was just so much to do in a day. And this time around, I did so many more questions. Mm -hmm. I revisited those same questions and I wrote a ton of essays. <laughs> How many so essays like, do you think you wrote? How many practice essays oh, do you think you wrote? Roughly. <laughs> over 40, like easy over 40, maybe over 50. Like we wrote tons. Yeah. Got and, down to one a day. I was like, yeah, oh. yeah. did you um, uh, time yourself? I know the answer, but did you time yourself on these essays? I did. Yes. And, and at first it was like slightly soul crushing. But <laughs> we got to a point where I was like, just my fingers were falling off. <laughs> yeah. And do you feel like timing yourself and doing and practicing all those essays? Like how did that help you for the real exam? Well, when we first started writing essays, I would just be typing leisurely and I'm like, okay, I'm typing for the full hour. So I'm doing everything right. And you taught me a way to write that was succinct and it was compact where I was typing for the full hour, but my points were doubling and tripling. So in the bar, actual bar exam, I looked insane because my fingers were moving so fast. <laughs> well, you're a fast typer too. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so during the exam <clears throat> for a February exam, did you feel like more confident than you did in the July 2022 exam? Yes. I For the July exam, I felt very confident going in but it was more of an ignorance is bliss type of confidence because I didn't know what I didn't know. And to be honest, I didn't know what I did know. So this time around, I was nervous walking in because it was my second time. And I knew that I did not want to be there for a third time. I knew the feeling of failing and it was the worst feeling in the world that I didn't want to experience again. But as soon as they said go, all of the stress and anxiety just went away and I just got to work and walking out of the exam was a really good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you actually um, passed with flying colors. Um, what, what would you say helped you for MBE like this time around? I would say that this time around, I, I got the black letter law down. Even to this day, I could recite my outline to you. That's how well I got it in my mind. Whereas when I took the bar exam in July, a week after the exam, I could not tell you anything, but I mm. genuinely truly learned it this time. And I spent time doing every question that was available to me and then repeating those questions two, three, four times over. Whereas the first time around, I would say the pool of questions I saw was very small. Okay. So what roughly how many uh, practice MBE questions did you do for February? Um, I would say we probably did like <laughs> probably like 4,000. <laughs> I know it was insane. <laughs> um, and that doesn't mean that everybody needs to do that amount. What you have explained so well is that this is so such an individualized process, but you always kept an eye on, am I understanding the material? Am I mindfully approaching this? And so using that as your foundation, as your guide, that's what led you to your study decisions. Does that sound right? 
Yes, absolutely. And I also, you were watching closely <laughs> and you were willing to pivot whenever I wasn't getting something. Yes. If there was a resource that you gave me that wasn't working for me. You constantly wanted that feedback. And I would tell you, and two minutes later, you'd have a new resource for me. <laughs> yes, yes. So what kept you, um, you know how you were saying, like you you were learning the Black Letter Law, like you were, you were going on walks and reciting it. You were just going into, what kept you motivated? Because like other people they get, or some students they get, um, they just get down and out. They're like, they get overwhelmed. They're like, this is too much to memorize. I can't possibly do this. What would you say to them? Honestly, you kept me motivated. <laughs> I wanted to make you proud and myself and my parents and just whenever I was really open with you, whenever I was feeling that way, you would talk to me and you'd tell me it was going to be okay. You were always there, almost like a friend throughout the whole thing. And you just assured me constantly that like those feelings were normal and that it's going to feel like that sometimes, but you just, you have to push through. The only way on is through. Yeah. And you really, you really wanted it. You were so motivated. You were like, I'm going to do what it takes to get this and nothing's going to stop me. What would be, what would you say out of all these things? What is the number one thing that helped you for the February 2023 exam? You can only say one thing, number one thing. The lightning sessions. The lightning sessions. Okay. Sat okay. down and issue spotted essays and just, we did so many essays and you really walked us through like, these are the issues you had to get. And these are the issues you can get for extra points. So it was really good to see that even if I didn't match the model answer, it was okay. You were still on a really good track and you gave us the black letter law that needed to be there. And those essays, the lightning sessions ended up being key because yes. those issues popped right back up. In right. The February exam. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's great, great practice and under a lot of pressure. So it's um, yes. really good for real, real life. Okay. So then um, last final thoughts, what is your final message um, that you have for anyone taking the Florida bar exam, especially someone who has failed previously and feels down and out, feels hopeless, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, my number one piece of advice would be obviously to hire you. Uh, <laughs> you, I truly don't think I would have passed the bar exam if it was not for you, because no. <laughs> I would have repeated the same system that didn't work the first time. And mm -hmm. I truly didn't know where I was going wrong. And you made those minor tweaks. You sat down with me. You looked at my previously like failed essays and really just to keep going, like just because you failed the bar exam the first or second or third time, it doesn't mean you're not smart enough to pass the bar exam. It just means you're not studying in the right way. Mm -hmm. so I would just keep going. Yeah. You'll get there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Never give up on your dreams. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Amy. I'm so happy um, that, that we did this and you're going to help a lot of people. A lot of people are going to feel really encouraged by hearing your, your words too. Okay. All right. So if um, for everyone else, if you want more information, go to mindoverlegalmatter.com and have a great day. Bye.